There are so many amazing reasons why it's important to go green. We could do several videos just listing them. To put going green into perspective, if we recycle one aluminum can, we would save enough energy to power a television for three hours. Now imagine if entire buildings were built with recycled materials and the buildings are designed to reduce, reuse, recycle wherever possible. Stop imagining. Today, we look at most amazing eco-friendly buildings. Number 22, Go Green. One Angel Square is the headquarters of the cooperative group and it's located in Manchester in the UK. This building houses 3,000 people who are all extremely proud to be working in a building that was awarded an Outstanding Building Research Establishment Environmental Assessment Methodology rating. The building is powered by grapeseed oil, which is grown on a farm owned by the company. They send excess energy back to the grid, utilize LED lighting, and have a system in place that recycles rain and wastewater. Number 21. Green with Envy Setting an example to other businesses is Adobe Systems, located at Almaden Tower in San Jose in California. They're the first major corporation to excel on the LEED Platinum rating list. By investing millions, they have succeeded in reducing water usage by 22%, reduced landscape water use by a massive 76%, their electricity has dropped by 35%, and natural gas by 41%. They also have 20 Windspire turbines, which they use to generate a renewable power supply for the entire company. Number 20. Home Sweet Home These incredible homes are paving the way forward in the hope to drastically reduce construction waste. Between Jeremy Edmiston of System Architects and Douglas Gautier of Gautier Architect, they've developed a prefab-type home made from over 1,000 pieces, cut in a specific way that reduces waste, is flat-packed, and could potentially be delivered anywhere in the world. It unfolds on site, similar to an accordion, and then you put it together like a gigantic 3D puzzle. Number 19, a little green. In this case, it's more than just a little. This is the Bullet Center built by the Bullet Foundation, which is a nonprofit group based in Seattle. They opened their doors on Earth Day in 2013, and it's certified as one of the world's 21 living buildings. This means that the building has the ability to generate as much power as it uses. Two years after the building was opened, they surprised everyone with the announcement that they were generating 60% more energy than they were using. Number 18, home is where the heart is. This phenomenal abode was designed by Far Associates and built by Goldberg General Contracting. The home is owned by the Yanell family and is located in Chicago, Illinois. It cost $1.5 million to build and produces 40% more energy than it uses. Hopefully, this will become the norm one day. Number 17. Green Thumb We think you'll need more than a green thumb to keep this amazing building going. This living building is in Bogota, Colombia, and it's covered entirely with vertical greenery. The plants produce enough oxygen for 3,000 people and filter so many toxins at the same time. It's become quite trendy to grow trees on tops of buildings, but it can be problematic when you need thicker soil and a complex watering system, whereas this low maintenance and low cost and virtually grows by itself. Number 16. Grass is always greener, especially at the Crystal in London. The electricity in this building is mostly generated by photovoltaic solar panels, which are panels that convert sunlight into electricity. The LED lights in the building switch on and off automatically, depending on the amount of daylight available. Plus, the roof collects rainwater, while the sewage is treated, recycled, and reused on site. Number 15. Save Our Planet The Banner Bank building in Idaho is definitely doing their bit. It's one of the greenest buildings in the country, and it's built from 40% recycled materials. They boast a water reclamation system and a geothermal heating system, which means 65% less energy is used and 80% less water. They've installed showers at work to encourage people to rather use their water, which is better for the environment. And just the cherry on top, their backup generators run on used vegetable oil. Number 14. Setting High Standards Over in China, there's a pretty tall tower. In fact, it's the tallest one there. It's the Shanghai Tower, and not only is it super tall, but also super green. It claims to be the greenest super high-rise on Earth. The twisted way the building is constructed reduces the wind swaying the building, which tends to happen with very tall buildings. They used 25% less structural steel than a normal building of that height would have used. Number 13. Homeward Bound and if you were heading home to Z Home in Washington, you'd feel pretty chuffed with your spot. 
This 10 housing development had a very important goal, and that was to prove that homes were able to function properly using zero net energy, 60% less water, have no carbon emissions, and more. They were successful in their intention, and each home comes standard with many extras, including an energy feedback monitor, highly insulated walls, ground source heat pump, double paned windows, and energy efficient lighting. The development also reuses rainwater that is collected. A unit is worth every penny. Number 12, Color My World. We've been on and on about green, but have a look at this colorful building in Australia. It's the Pixel Building, and this funky structure has scored a perfect score of 105 on the Green Star rating system in Australia. This self-sustaining building features sun-following solar panels, an aerobatic digester, which converts human waste into heat, collects rainfall, vacuum flushing toilets, and wind turbines, just to name a few of its extraordinary features. Number 11, go green or go home. This intimidating building is Pearl River Tower, located in Gongshu, China, and is considered one of the greenest skyscrapers in the world. Completed in 2012, this remarkable tower uses cutting-edge technology to generate its clean energy. The building takes full advantage of the sun and wind patterns and has integrated internal wind turbines. There are motorized panels on the side of the building, providing the building with fresh air and keeping the interior cool. Number 10, money is no object. With a cost of $40 million, you can only imagine how green the Daybreak Corporate Center in Utah actually is. It's LEED Platinum certified, and 95% of the building is built using building waste. The property collects 100% of the rainwater and uses it to irrigate the landscape. The building uses 22% less energy than a traditional building of that size. Number 9, ready for change. This is a store called The Change Initiative, located in Dubai. Their entire building is completely eco-friendly, earning 107 out of 100 lead points. The store takes it one step further by only selling and stocking organic food and eco-friendly home products. Definitely worth a stop, you know, if you're ever in Dubai. Number 8. Catch Some Rays This is the micro-emission Sun Moon Mansion, located in China. This mind-blowing building resembles a sundial and is one of the largest solar-powered structures in the world. Inside, you'll find offices, a huge conference center, and a hotel, all of which are powered by solar energy. It boasts 50,000 square feet of solar paneling, along with energy-saving glass and a solar-powered hot water supply. This impressive building ticks all the right boxes in terms of self-sufficient buildings. Number 7. School is cool. Literally, but it's because of a natural disaster that saw some significant changes in Greensburg, Kansas. In 2007, a tornado ripped through Greensburg, flattening around 95% of the city. When the city was being rebuilt, it was decided to make it as green as possible, and now has the nickname Green Town. This K-12 school is a great example of what they achieved. The design means that day lighting and natural ventilation are used. There's a 50 kilowatt wind turbine assisting with the energy needs with more coming from a wind farm located close to the school. Number six, size counts. And in this case, we see a five and a half million square feet of energy saving genius. The King Abdullah University of Science and Technology in Saudi Arabia is the largest lead platinum project in the world. It's 27 buildings all use 100% wastewater and saves around 30% of energy every year. Plus it's pretty beautiful to look at too. Coming to varsity every day will definitely not be a chore here. Number five, don't be mean, go green. This is the CIS Tower in Manchester, which was originally built in 1962. It's one of the tallest buildings in the UK, and around $8.5 million was spent to make it more eco-friendly. The Institution of Mechanical Engineers has noted that the CIS Tower has the largest commercial solar facade in Europe. There are 7,000 photovoltaic cells that cover the tower, which generate 180 megawatt hours of clean energy every year. And on the roof, you'll find 24 wind turbines. Number four, give green a chance. Considered groundbreaking, the Clock Shadow Building was built for occupants that shared the vision of the developer, who is 100% committed to saving energy and utilizing natural resources. Situated in Milwaukee, this building has slashed its energy consumption by half through the effective usage of sunshades and natural lighting. Vegetables are grown on the roof and rainwater is used to flush the toilets. Water consumption has reduced by 60% and the building has won numerous awards for its incredible work towards going green. Number 3. Sun's Up This is the solar-powered Kirilpa Bridge in Brisbane, and granted, it's not a building, but it's so unusual it's worth a mention. Designed by Cox Architects, the entire bridge features an LED lighting system that is powered by solar panels. The bonus feature is that because it's connected to a grid, the bridge can get power when it needs it and can give it back when there's a surplus. 
Number two, not a reality yet, but hopefully soon. This is the design of US-based Solus 4, who entered an international design competition where the requirements were to build a marine center that would float in the ocean, collecting data about tsunamis, providing an opportunity for researchers to study the ocean and its animals, and afford people a chance to learn as well. The team that won created this impressive floating building that featured labs, bedrooms, a seawater pool, and an underwater auditorium. Number one, a little unexpected. When you think of buildings that are self-sustaining, you wouldn't instantly think of the Empire State Building, would you? $550 million was invested into the building to make it more eco-friendly. With their improvements, they've managed to save around $4.4 million every year, and they're hoping that within the next decade, they will reduce their carbon footprint by an enormous 105,000 tons. 